All right, next up we have uh, Gary Walton from the Friends of Shames, also for a request for a letter of support. Good evening. Thank you for joining uh, me this evening. Uh, I'll just touch on some of the points that I presented in my letter, um, our letter actually. Um, we're a volunteer committee of local skiers and business people gathering information and researching options to determine the most flexible and effective business model for the long-term operation of the Shames Mountain Ski Area. FOS, with the help of various advising lawyers and professionals, have determined that a community service cooperative seems to be the most feasible model and stands the best chance of success. Through innovative, adaptable business structure, and this supplies the potential of private and corporate investors alongside applicable provincial and federal incentives. The, feasible step, the feasibility study that we propose will confirm this choice or recommend another business structure or hybrid. FOS is not the entity that will make an offer to purchase shames. It's the volunteer group researching, preparing a feasibility study, business plan, and prospectus that the community service cooperative may use to reach its goal to purchase and operate shames ski area. Shames not only enriches the lives of local snowboarders and skiers, but it can be seen as a drawing card for young, active professionals who pursue not only career advancement, but an outdoor healthy lifestyle. It is our intention to find a way to keep the ski area available to regional users and adventure seekers from around the globe for many years to come. FOS has recently finalized a grant application to the Canadian Cooperative, Cooperative Association Innovative Cooperative Initiative. This initiative is strictly for innovative cooperative projects and funding is available. FOS would utilize any funding it received to complete the feasibility study and finalize the business plan. We see this as a final step to complete prior to forming, forming a community service cooperative and issuing a prospectus to prospective shareholders and corporate partners. FOS has had an ongoing dialogue with the existing owners of James Mountain Ski Area and we are encouraged by the positive messages that we are receiving from the board. Numerous local business people and skiers, local and international, have voiced their support and we have received formal letters of support from a number of elected officials and agencies. I believe you've got those uh, officials and agencies that have given us letters. At this time, we would respectfully request that the City of Terrace Ter Mayor and Council provide a letter of support for the Friends of James and their application for a grant to the Canadian Cooperative Association's Innovative Cooperative Initiative. Thank you, and uh, I'll attempt to answer any questions that you might have. <laughs> All right, thanks, uh, Jerry, for the presentation. Uh, I'll start with Councillor Yeah, thank you for the clarification. One, Friends of Shames is not an incorporated nonprofit organization. We are uh, about to get our nonprofit status. Uh, we have a lawyer in Vancouver that's working on that for us right now. Yes, so but wouldn't that be a precondition to receiving the grant from us? It, it would. We so would. We would. Uh, likely see that coming through within a week, two weeks at the outside. Thank you. Councilman Delighted to see you taking on this. Um, James Mountain is an awesome job that we have in our neighborhood. Can you tell me what a community service cooperative really looks like? What, it's, what it is? Uh, I'll try. Um, the. Um, the lawyers that, that we talked to suggested that this model would have the best chance of receiving funding from, from not only um, federal and provincial initiatives, but also we could sh sell shares to the public or to corporations. Um, now, the shares, we, we don't know what the value of or what the cost of the share will be. Um, but we, the community service cooperative has the luxury of also um, allowing the shareholder to get some membership privileges, as opposed to just a purely nonprofit society, which would not be able to, to issue um, anything but a, a tax receipt, basically. The, the community so service cooperative would be able to give membership some privileges. The, I suppose the, the larger question is what does the co-op look like? Uh, uh, help me. <laughs> you want to yeah. 
Sure. Yeah, if you want. Free question. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess first of all, Carol, does that clarify things at all for you? You're telling me it's a nonprofit, but there's privileges if you buy into, if you get a, um, a membership for this. That's right. It's a, it's a nonprofit cooperative. So as opposed to Mount Equipment Co-op, which is a for-profit cooperative, where people buy shares and although Mount Equipment Co-op doesn't issue mm -hmm. dividends, um, the, the non-profit, or the, the community service co-op could afford benefits to its, its members, however still retain its non-profit status. Any profits would be put back into the infrastructure or the, the, uh, the business itself. Wouldn't that be like, a, like the golf course in some ways, right? And you're, you're, you have med memberships and stuff, the public can still use the facility as well? Would it be like that? Absolutely. Okay. Yes, yes. Not only members could, could see there, anyone could see there. And membership wouldn't be uh, restricted to, to locals. Whoever wanted to buy a share in the community service co op would be welcome. What kind of time frame are you looking at? Um, like are the owners of Shane's going to hang up their skis next or the year after? But have you got a period of time you've got to get this framework? Well, as long as it takes is the short answer. Um, we are hoping that the, the existing owners of Shane's are, are not going to stop turning the lips. Um, we're hoping to have most of our... Um, we're hoping to issue the prospectus by... October, October of uh, 2010. Councilor Paul. First of all, thank you for this letter. It does clarify an awful lot of things. Um, I, I'm still not completely clear on one thing. Um, you make a comment here that FOS is not the entity that will make the offer to purchase shames, but the results of the work that they do may lead to a community service cooperative and help them reach the goal. So are you saying that after Friends of James does this, everything comes well back perfectly, and the feasibility says that's exactly the right way to go, that you will work on developing the community cooperative as, as the Friends starting as Friends of James? Is that correct? Uh, Friends of James will um, hopefully get the funding to, to complete the business plan and the feasibility study. If all things are a go, oh, and the prospectus, if, if all things are a go, then the shames the, the community service cooperative will be formed and that will be the entity 